how are you guys gonna have a Red Bull fridge? So, <laughs> with no Red Bull. Because I buy a case of Red Bulls and they're gone in about three hours. So I'm done buying Red Bulls. <laughs> so we usually make it run like twice a week and Jeez. buy enough Red Bulls for like a couple days. Yeah. But it never lasts a couple yeah. days. They last a day and a half. That's so crazy. if you pay attention to the fridge, I don't know if you see on the camera. Oh yeah. With a flashing blue light, that's custom. That's not even supposed to be like that. The first freaking six hours this thing was hooked up. I mean, opened the door and like, he like shocked it with his hand and it's it's been doing that since. We got that from a customer, uh, the really? Red Bull for Jay yeah, gave it to me. Holy shit, that's awesome. Yeah, so if anyone wants to donate, I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hook these guys up, man. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Work hard for this free content for you guys to watch, send some Red Bulls, Monster, whatever. Yeah. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Here's, yeah. the, here's the address. We'll give you a shout out. Just Amazon them over, you know? <laughs> so what's up with this thing? Guy bought it already running and driving, had the paint done in wheels and brought it to us to get it tuned and it wouldn't make any power. It would make like 400 horsepower. So uh, the first thing we found, we were playing with the boost controller, the way they had it hooked up, it's a manual boost controller, was wrong. From what I could tell, it was basically giving pressure to the top end bottom of the wastegate. So it's, they're just canceling each other out. And then next from there, once we did that, it gained a couple pounds, but still wasn't right. They have this in here like that. But if you take it off and look. Oh, it goes all the way to the end. It goes all the way to yeah. the end, yeah, which can, doesn't let anything in. No. So we pulled that off and that helped more, but it still is not right. And we're thinking it is due to the exhaust. It has full exhaust. It's like a four inch downpipe that splits to like two and a quarter, two and a half inch big, you know, suitcase mufflers. So I pulled one of the sides off. They're kind of, in there pretty well so i pulled one side off real quick uh, we'll get it on the dyno later today to see if that was the culprit wants to make more he's gonna have to do something with the exhaust but for now it runs nice car it is nice i like the paint a lot yeah i like the color a lot i dig it for now doing a blower eventually though was this uh, a car you guys did or no yeah. okay. uh, now well, we were gonna base on it but you said it's not running right yeah so what we're gonna do is apparently it's like popping a lot of throttle which is usually a sign of a strap going on a plug at least take the plugs out maybe even leak it down and then change the plugs it has the NGK 6510s in it which is the heat range 7 and it uh, really needs the H for this. We'll change it over and then I'll take it out for a log real quick before we even take it apart. Lord knows if I'll take it apart and then put it back together, you know, so we gotta figure it out first. He actually just added this stuff. He came in for to diagnose a problem and a tune. And when he dropped it off, he wanted to add the blur. I was like, yeah, no problem. Let's go see what this thing does. Hopefully something. So what's up with this thing? 5.3, uh, literally like stock, I think with a really, really small cam. S475, um, basic everything. It's just a cool little street car. It's not gonna make a ton of power, but this, it probably only weighs like 3,000 pounds, so if it makes like, six, 700, pretty fast probably.
That's better. Yeah, a little bit. It's spinning a little bit. Yeah. Dead light right as the turbo kind of comes on. It's just... Well, that graph pile looks a little weird. Like 16 and a half pound boost. 600 to 3,000 pound little street cars. Dude, there's a lot of people that don't understand 3,000 pounds compared to 4,000 pounds is a big difference. Oh, I know. I say it all the time, my car is 2,800 pounds. I mean, it only makes like 450, but still. It's still fun. It's a lot of fun, yeah. It's like a C6 ZR1, like, or a Z06. Powered away. Oh my god, yeah. like, yeah. Heads came to Z06 at 600, you know, they're fun. Yeah, it's true. Plus, you said this thing's got a 4L80, so that thing's kind of sapping up some power as it is. Oh, yeah. So to the wheels, that's that's great. I think I might stop it there because it's out of injector, to be honest. You guys said when it came in, I guess it was making, like, no power whatsoever. 315. <laughs> Jeez. Um, All right, so he's almost double. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if you got on video earlier about the filter to the yeah. turbo. I'll figure yeah. that out. The manual boost controller spring. I mean, it's just a bunch of dumb shit that added up with our 300 horsepower out of it. So, and it sucks because when you do a car, a lot of those things you don't really figure out until you get it on the dyno and you start dying. You know. And the thing is, he bought it like this already done. He says it was quick, so I don't, I don't know. I mean, he's gonna have to get it back, get it back now and see if it's quick. Because like 400 horsepower probably does feel fast in this. Like, yeah. This thing like a lot of playing the steering wheel. Like, <laughs> yeah. this is no, you know. This isn't a brand new CTSV or nothing, so. It's true. Um, I think I'll have a, a good time with it for sure. I guess his body's got like a Tesla plaid, and I think he wants to be able to keep up with him. But like, this should probably keep up with it, to be honest. You know, I don't know if it beat it, but like, if he got traction, it's 600 worth. Those things are like 4,000 pounds or some yeah. shit. So. Yeah. But I know this thing's fast spin. as shit. Yeah. Just go get up and go. Yeah. So. I'd still rather have this. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, this thing's cool. Really clean too. Yeah, it's very clean. So, Hell yeah. keep it there, and you know, if he wants to upgrade injectors, we can get them back in. Okay. So. Sounds good. Yeah. You want to talk about your? Uh Project? I don't care. Should. Okay. People are gonna be like, what the hell is that thing doing there? So this is my 95 Eclipse GSX. I've had it for five, six years maybe. Uh, four cylinder wasn't cutting it anymore. So put an LS in it. Oh, uh, the turbo LS with a power glide, uh, 8 8 rear. It's a lot, but should be pretty cool when it's done. Still a street car, no prep car, a little bit of everything. So the motor's mocked up, done. Oh yeah? Yeah, the motor's ready to go in. I just wait on the motor plate. So it basically runs a full Fox body front end. Uh, I, I had to modify the steering rack bar just because this car is actually about a half inch wider than a Fox body frame rail to frame rail. But it runs Fox body lower control arms. I gotta do the strut towers, converting that to a Fox body strut tower. At the end of the day, it's literally gonna be a Fox body with a, an Eclipse body on it. Wait on the motor plate to show up so I can finish everything in the firewall. I had to move the gas pedal. The gas pedal was like right here, basically. Oh, okay. Before. So I, I'm just gonna cut it out. I'm gonna put a, a bar in it and then just do like a custom steering rack set up in it. I was hoping I didn't have to do all that, but it is what it is. So this thing should be, it should be like, how much is this? Four with the, all, it was all the drive, so it was a little heavy. It's gutted, but it's not cut. I was 27.50. I think it'll actually be lighter. You do an iron block? I have a couple choices. We have an uh, LS9 short block here. Oh. We know a customer to see what he wants to do with that. And then we also have an LSA short block. So if not, yeah, I'll just put a junkyard in it just to get her going and mock everything up at least, you know? I want it to be like 2,500 with me in it. That's the goal. And they make like every carbon piece for this car too. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna get Lexi in the quarter windows. I'm probably gonna keep electric windows for now because I want it somewhat treatable. Yep. Sweet, I like it. Yeah. Keep us updated. Yeah. But the draw shaft will actually run through the car. Okay. So I'm trying to, I don't want to be some lifted, because yeah. if not, the, I'd it's have to really literally high. be like this height to yeah. get the trans down and stuff. So trans will actually be 
removed from the inside of the car, and then the drive shaft will probably, I still gotta cut out the back part, but it's literally gonna run straight through the center. Well, you definitely got your work cut out for it. Yeah. Sounds like a V. Sounds like a V. This is a 427 Kong 2650, big cam, lot of compression. It runs extremely well, makes 1150. We took it off the hub, put it on that dyno. We had three people in the back of it because it'll spin it. and it made 30 less on the dyno jet than on that dyno. Everyone says, oh, the 2650 car is shine on the hub dyno. They're going to a little bit because there's no wheel spin and these things make so much torque. I think this thing's just under 1,100 foot pounds of torque on the dyno jet. The hub always makes weird torque. Yeah, it was, it was probably nine something. I don't know, okay. I could pull it up. It was probably nine something. This thing pulls to like 8,000 RPM. So it's a dark block, uh, Frankenstein M311 heads. I mean, honestly, it's really nothing special. It's just properly done. It's not like a really expensive head or anything. I mean, it's good stuff for sure. Nothing crazy, definitely affordable for most. And this thing's insane. Like I was driving earlier and it, I mean, on these wheels, he's got the stock wheels on the back with Mickey's on it, but they won't hook a hundred mile an hour. <laughs> it just blows them all. I think he's gonna do a turbo 400 in it. Cause he wants to race at the track and really hasn't had a chance to. I feel bad for him because everything breaks behind the motor. He really needs a nine inch and a 400 to be honest with you. Still in stock ECU, pretty badass though. So you just said, how many miles does this thing have on it? I don't know exactly, so it's got over 100,000 on it for sure. But this is a super awesome customer too. It does what I say. The car's been here longer than I wanted it to be. And he doesn't push me, rush it out the door kind of a deal. We take care of him too. So that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's nice. So what's the setup on this thing? Take a guess. Both the ones. Okay. Another, uh, oh, this one's manual, so it's not, uh... But it's another both the ones, the other one is per usual. It's your money. Yeah. I definitely like these things. Matt, by the way, when you are up there videoing, take some close video of the meth because it just goes to show how nice we do our meth gets compared to other people. Oh, for sure. Was it meth, ported blower, upper pulley, hatters, and flex. It had a tune on it before with us doing the work to it um, prior, probably a year, year and a half ago. It was flex on it, upper, vertifab, and hatters. We just added the ported blower and the meth. It should do good. Export or? Yes. Go. Explains the only 14 to 15 pounds. Yeah. It was on the other side. I'm impressed. Yeah. 15 pounds. I'll be over 800 with a lower. It's got what? E50 in it right now? 57. Okay. Yeah. Which it doesn't make any difference at all from 50 to 57. What do you usually see as diminishing returns? Like anything over 860? Yeah. Depends how much meth you're spraying. True. My car was spraying three nozzles, then it's on 50 or 60, I forget. Meth is like the saving grace in these things for sure.
impressive for a stock lower. It's very impressive. Um, yeah, he'll have a lot of fun in this thing. I made 650 before, so. Okay. And the only thing he added was meth and a port of blower. No pulleys. So well, I had a pulley on it before, but no pulleys this time. 130. 30. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So he should be happy with that. Hell yeah. You said the Nova that was just in came back yeah. for some more? I think I might stop it there because it's out of injector, to be honest. If he wants to upgrade injectors, we we'll get them back in. Okay. So. Sounds good. Yeah. Asked him if you want a bigger injectors, and he said, yep. Got them back in as soon as the injectors came in. And we got him up to 800. Um, Is that pump? That's on E50, okay. I think it did. But it wasn't like on high boost or anything. I said, take it like this, 800 horsepower, and this car is probably gonna roll out. Like, I think it probably only weighs with a driver 3100. Yeah. And it's got a really small tire on the back. I don't know if you notice that or not, but. Thanks, sweet though. Yeah, I really like those cars. Next video, we'll have this guy on the dyno. I think this is actually my favorite project yet. I mean, we, I like the old ones and everything, but this thing is different. We don't do this often at all. It should be badass. We'll have it on the dyno next video. Sweet. I like it. So stay tuned, subscribe, guys. We'll see this next time. Maybe throw some guesses in the comments. LSA, manual. LSA, manual, pump gas, no meth, no port of blower. It's got a cam upper, 2.5 upper, and a 9.17 lower. And 35s. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> 35 by 14. It takes two people to put them things on. Yeah, they're 100 some pounds. So take all that in consideration, throw some guesses in the comments, and we'll see you guys next time.